welcome. It's hard lore time. Is it hard lore time, Bo? Yeah, it's hard lore time. Okay, Colin, good. Who do we got? I was just I was checking. Say, am I we to have you or something? Um, the universally beloved <laughs> podcast <laughs> sensation musical icon Taylor Madison. Welcome, Taylor. Hey, how Hi. are you, fellas? Yeah, doing great. Tickled pink that you're here with us today. Yeah, I'm. I'm like a day one. Taylor Madison fan, you know that you're one of like you're right? one of uh, you're one of about four or five. Yeah, yeah. There's f- <laughs> you guys are a small clan, but you're a you know a we are clan. mighty. There are there are like we might be there might be less than ten of us, but you know we're we're the we're a vocal minority. There <laughs> might be less than five of you, five no. five people that like truly admire me. Yeah, I don't even that I I might be taking it a stretch too far with that i don't know me, if you're like whoa whoa whoa! i didn't say all that <laughs> me your wife <laughs> uh jake your podcast uh, host i don't know <laughs> he might he, be a little know, sick of you though right i don't know if he reveres me in that way <laughs> <laughs> well he should try it how did you guys meet jake and i <laughs> no 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 you and colin sorry <laughs> uh that's a good question i think probably via me dating danielle right yeah mm-hmm. that sounds right but also it. just, and then it was a mutual podcast respect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we were like, wow, we were really like Titans of this industry. We got to link up. <laughs> Dude, we are, we are basically like, I mean, ours wasn't a music podcast, but in terms of hardcore musicians that do podcasts, we're like, we're like Adam Kroll and Norm MacDonald. Are you so, talking about real deal? Yeah. And he, and Taylor was the strange nerve, strange nerve. Oh, strange you nerve. doing yeah, strange nerve was like. Maybe we should try this. The catalyst. Um, Interesting. I wish our current podcast took off in the way that that did. I think it was just a different time, but because uh, I mean, not that everyone, not not that not everyone had a podcast at the time, because everyone did. But now, truly, like my aunts and uncles are like, "Yo, I started this YouTube show. You should check it out." <laughs> What's it about? <laughs> it's about a. Uh, uh, they didn't really start one. That was a little fib on my part, but um, I was—I exp- mean, I know it was, and I was expecting you to be like, "Oh, frogs or something," you know. Oh, I was gonna say fish, fly fishing. See, it wasn't mm. far off. Yeah. Mm. Well, you just played the UK Outbreak Fest and all that stuff. I did. Yes. How was that? It was awesome. Some kid grabbed me on the stage at Outbreak, and I kind of had to like give him a little. I had to little, grip him up a little bit, but you roughed it up. Yeah, I just. Which I don't like. I, stay out of my stay out of my personal zone. Mm. You know, mm. there's a line. I I like having my personal zone invaded a little bit when singing. But when you play an guitar? instrument as well. Yeah. Yeah. Playing an instrument, it's a different different animal for sure. Yeah, Pedal and the song that we were input jacks break and yeah, like the part that I was I was playing and singing, and the part I was playing the chorus of the song "Youngest Daughter." And this fool was like, now's the time for me to get on stage, grab the mic, and grab the man singing and playing guitar into the mic. <laughs> and he didn't even... <laughs> yeah, he got one hand on the mic, and then his other hand, like, grabbed my... Sh- he just grabbed me very hard, and then, like... Did I he look British? <laughs> um, if, if I could be so bold, I, he was European, <laughs> there's no question. I didn't oh. see him after... Before, I didn't see any features... He was an apparition that came towards me in a, hat, a tall, skinny guy in a hat. He was distinctly and Portuguese. He, um, I would guess he was distinctly German. <laughs> okay. uh, I saw the choir boy guys on two days ago, and they also played Outbreak. And they said, Colin, we were kind of pontificating. They said there was like 6,000 people there. I've heard 6,500. Yeah. I heard 15,000. <laughs> wow. That's more than double, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> that's you, uh, I'll tell you, you what, man. It felt like that. It felt like there was there? like 200, 300 people out there while we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do anything sick when you weren't playing the shows? Uh, We went to the fest the day before that. That was cool. Uh, oh, okay. How you do hit you the find- pit, dude? <laughs> what? You hit the pit? I didn't hit the pit. I got to be honest, man, as far as pitting goes, I don't want to, I don't like to be like old man. Like I got no business being there. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 35. I'm 34. Mm. I'll be 35 at the end of this year. 
No fucking way. I think I still I'll, got some business in there. I will be uh, uh, Peter Parker at the end of fucking the second. Well, <laughs> shit, I'm fucking this bit up. I will literally evaporate into dust if I get hit wrong. I know it. Really? Like, I know it. Yeah, dude. No way. It'll be the snap and Bo's going to be like, Mr. Young. It's kind of the... <laughs> It's kind of the opposite for me. Gridiron played here recently. And I don't know what I, I think I was just some I was just summoned, you know? I felt like I had an obligation. And uh, you. Yeah, that was me. Uh and I hurt myself. Like it was me who hurt me. Yeah, that's that's how I, I I predict that's exactly what would happen if I don't get me wrong, there are times when I'm like, oh man, I can feel it welling up inside me yeah. mm -hmm. and i like that because i then i feel like okay I, I still there's still a reason that i go to shows sure that i'm not playing because sometimes i'll be at a show that i'm not playing and i'm like what the fuck was i thinking this is sure sure i'm like saying, any enjoyment this is hardcore this. was this past weekend and that hatebreed set looked incredible it did and i probably yeah. would have gotten hurt like yeah, that yeah. would have been one where i was like uh-oh you know shouldn't have done that but i i feel yeah. like and this is this may be this is just me you know i understand that i think i'm too good at spin kicking to stop permanently. Yeah, you know? I'm not a spin kicker. Like you would never see me do that. I have an obligation <laughs> to the people to keep it going as, <laughs> it's not as long as I can. Wow. <laughs> can I say something that you're not going to believe? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite the spin kicker myself. Why would I not believe that? I kick high as fuck, brother. You, you I don't know. Cause I, I'm not a, a very, I'm not a very veins. physical guy. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a physical fella. I know you, if you know this about me, you're I'm a big, like the, you're, you're a secret big man. Yeah, I, I kind of wonder that if people uh, don't think that I'm tall and then they see me and they're like, he's, he looks weirder now that I, th like, do people think that I'm like 5'8"? Yeah, I, I would think so. I don't think I've ever met you in person, so probably. I'm seven foot tall. That's wow. true. You and carry I, it well. <laughs> Flights must be a nightmare. Dude, you know what's seven, fucked up? Seven foot, 170 pounds, dude. <laughs> String bane. If you're crazy if you, if you think I weigh 170 pounds. 170, seven foot. That's the strange nerve. That's where you got the name the name from. <laughs> yeah, it's because I have a neuro a neurological <laughs> disease that makes me grow really tall, but I can't gain weight. It's called strange nerve ice. <laughs> I'm in pain. It's like at reverse all times. Gary Coleman. <laughs> I look fucking terrible on this camera. It's just gonna get worse as the sun goes down, too. You Whatever, look, man. Look like a million dollars. Yeah, I think you look you guys fine. Got, you look like cameras are kind of good. Colin looks like he's my brother up like was a, using a, a fucking fish gamer. eye. He looked like he was forty feet away. You're good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How are, uh, hey, here's an actual question for you. How are your flights and everything? Because I've heard nothing but horror stories over the last week of all friends traveling to and from. <sighs> um, horror stories in terms of people getting their gear lost or yeah. just flying. Uh, flights canceled, gear lost. Landing and like customs being crazy and all like all luggage just being like just chaos. Um, I will say it was the most uh like sort of chaotic it's been in a while flying situation. Like I, I usually think that well, first of all, it was fine for us, to be honest. It, compared to ever the other people, like Angel Dust got like actual really valuable stuff just misplaced. Mm-hmm. And like I it's just gone, out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, currently, that is the that is the <laughs> case. Yeah, that's the status. Doc <laughs> Which Luce, is so like, crazy. Something fucked up, and they had to drive from New York to Louisville. Dude, oh my god! Yeah, they just had to like rent a thing. It was like, well, either we don't or we just go home. You know, at what like, point do I just start swinging? You know, <laughs> as society, what point does society just start swinging? Have you ever been in a position where you're like waiting? You're at your gate, and they come over the thing. If I knew where the megaphone thing was right now, it would be, be really... Oh, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have overbooked this flight. If anyone would like to volunteer to go at a later date, we can offer a travel voucher and hotel stay. You ever gotten That's, that? That sounds good. Of course. It sounds great until you try to redeem those fuckers, and there's all kinds of strings attached, and you're staying at like a, a literal... like. The shittiest days in. It's a scam. Yeah, it's Unless a they're scam. offering you cash up front. Yep. Which like you're entitled to, I've heard. Like that, that's like there's that dude, Delta just just on a flight offered passengers ten grand. <laughs> that just happened. Like I mean, three people they were like, We'll give you fucking three grand. I think there was like 
some like three emergency passengers that like absolutely needed to fly. And they were like, look, we'll give you 10 grand cash. And like only three people were like, like it was, <laughs> dude, it was I difficult. Would, I would have sucked them off on my way oh, out. Straight up, dude. Whatever you need, baby. 10 G's. Yeah. Be, yo, flying is a fucking nightmare, man. I feel, it feels mm-hmm. weird to say because it's, it's a tr- when you think about it, it's like, damn, you can just hop on a flight and just go thousands of miles in the air and then just go really far away pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn, that we live, what times we live in. But at the same time, it's like this, it, every part of this sucks. I hate it. It, so it feels so bad to do. So <laughs> I was, that's what I was going to ask. We're not supposed to do it. Straight no. up. <laughs> and you guys as singers, how, like the first set after you land has to be the worst thing ever. It doesn't work. Uh, it just seems like my ears would just be like, you don't know what you're doing. Like, we're all fucked up. I I get sick. And so I, w- I was telling you about it, Bo. Um, I just almost, almost called you Joe. So you're Joe now. <laughs> Yikes. Um, the thing about that, Joe, is <laughs> <laughs> when we when we toured Australia, our flight was direct from here to Melbourne, which is what? 89 days long. It's it's like 21 hours. To 21 see. hours. Dude. Well, you're closer in LA, but yeah. 89 hours <laughs> straight to Melbourne. And then the second we landed, we drove to Adelaide, which is another nine. There's oh. an airport there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we drove, we fucking flew to Melbourne, drove to Adelaide, played the show, drove back to Melbourne. Oh my God. So I'm in like the most beautiful place in the world. But like, I feel like an, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I probably got to cut that, but I, I've never, I've never oh, no, felt no, worse no, no, no. in my whole life. You can't cut that. <laughs> yeah, I'll no, be I mean, so upset if you kowtow to these fucking. <laughs> yes. I, it just, it just it, like, I couldn't, <laughs> I, 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 it, nothing worked physically. I couldn't sing. I couldn't move. Yeah. We were all sick because yeah. you're not supposed to fly. No. Human beings aren't aren't meant to. We're not built for that. No. Listen, I'm. Uh, since this is a story about tour, I will tell you right now that I'm the biggest pussy you'll ever have on this show, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to traveling. I'm sorry that if people don't like that word, but it's that's the only word that 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 grasps how big of a pussy I am. <laughs> I don't like any inconvenience. I don't like any sort of like. If there's any kind of problem whatsoever, <laughs> I'm like, why am I fucking doing this? I'm uh, Taylor. You know yeah. that I'm, that we've been like minded fellas for a while now. But yeah, I'm but you, the, I you have much more shiny disposition than myself. I'm yeah. I'm grumpy as it is, and then if something goes wrong, I'm like, Pff. <laughs> awesome. I, I do that at home. <laughs> well, yeah, I definitely do too. Like if 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 my wife is like, hey, like. I left my glass of water downstairs. I'm like, fucking, what the fuck? You know, like, I'm not, I'm not I, having it. I find myself stuck in the middle and mm. I'm very like, we're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Like mm-hmm. I, I sense other people. I talked, we talked about this last time, but I sense other people's anxiety getting up and I have to like, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. Like I try to do the same. Just uh, touring with my brother has made yeah, me do that. Yeah, when, so, when Taylor's angry, I got to, I got to be the one to be like, <laughs> like, yeah. come on, guys! But I, and <laughs> inside, I'm I, like, there's a gun to my it just like, just all all day, you know. What um, I think that's called trauma, brother. I think they call it trauma. Yeah, <laughs> trauma airlines. Yeah. yeah. What what airlines you take out there and back? Um, we flew British Airways, Ooh. and um, it was it was fine. Um, better than Lufthansa or United. I'll tell you what, Jake almost booked flights with Aer Lingus because they were the cheapest. Ah, Aer Lingus. And nice. Colin and Alec had a horror story from them. And I said, dude, I, I think it's ill-advised to fly Aer Lingus. And then they lost Dead Heat's stuff. Oh. Still gone. <laughs> wow. So, Becky, so Becky Lynch. Checked. They did not heed your warning. Mm-hmm. Aer Lingus. Well, I, you know, I'm glad that I could personally help you there. That was yeah. years ago, too. So I'm... I'm I'm proud of you for remembering that. Yeah, never flown well, I mean, the Lingus. It's always Lufthansa or United. Always. 
dude. You can't forget a name like Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus. When you told me that's the flight you that lost your guys' stuff, I was like, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> you guys are flying Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus. They're, they're, they're bullshit, man. I they're, think the best... Sorry, I'm talking over you. I think the best airline we ever took was uh, Singapore Airlines on the way back from Japan. And it was like, here's a menu. Which of the three options do you want for your three-course meal? <sighs> like in economy. Sing, this is Singapore Singapore Airlines? Yeah, it was Dude, really the, fucking nice. the waitress, the, the waitresses, the flight attendants are straight up like models. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. To the point where I'm like, it's like I'm at the gym and I'm just like, just try, like trying, like I need to just focus on. Dude, you're the at the gym on the plane, bro. No, but it's the same way. Where if it's like somebody's doing their thing over here, I don't want to just sit there like. Yeah, it can't be the guy no. staring at the squat rack. You have to add the, yeah. the mental gymnastics of just being like, I'm, <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna look anywhere but at you. Dude, you know? I have a story about about this too. So we were at the end of a of a six week world tour, right? And we did that was. 10 days in Southeast Asia, two weeks in Australia, and then 10 days in Japan where it's wet season, summer, winter in Japan. So by the end of it, we, I was fucked. I was so sick. Like nothing, like Japan was miserable, which is of course sucks. But on the flight home, all of a sudden we were in the air for about an hour and it's, you know, it's a 14 hour flight from Japan to LA, I mm -hmm. think. And I start getting this pain in my teeth and in my gums. And it's just like getting worse and worse to the point where I'm welling up <laughs> and like, I want to rip my teeth out. It feels right to like pull on them. I'm not even joking. I paid $30 for 50 megabytes of data. $30, bro. I loaded like <laughs> two and a half Wikipedia pages that were of course like, Oh, you have, you have cancer. Wait, 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 wait. This was 2015 and we were on Singapore airlines and it was very expensive. That's cr that's crack I'm not prices, dude. dude. I'm in the bathroom crying, <laughs> and it, and I get the you're out of data thing while I'm scrolling. Okay, and that was the last straw. They there. Yeah, we are lucky that anybody ever saw you again after that one. I say I'd never go on tour again after that. So, like, oh, <laughs> this isn't worth it. One enough, of the things that now my fucking was, teeth hurt. Come on. One one of the things that I read said that if you have a certain like if if you were sick if you have like a, a sinus infection that can go into your gums and go into like your tooth cavities <laughs> and to take a decongestant so oh. i talked to one of these fucking angel flight attendants on singapore airlines and she said i think i might have one i'll be back in a minute which felt like an eternity and i took a decongestant and like 30 minutes later no joke there was like in my head i heard a really and it, and it just went away and I was watching Interstellar and Matthew McConaughey was crying at at messages from Murph and I bawled he just wept. tears of relief like I can't even explain. So Dude. now I always I fly with decongestants, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to make the whole episode about flying, but um, <laughs> as far as your Singapore air thing, I do. I do not do well on planes. I feel like I'm in good company, but. Pretty much everyone else that I travel with regularly is gets on the plane and they fall asleep before we take off. Fucking scumbags, man. Yeah, if and I they could wake cut up. Cut off they, a portion of a digit for yeah. that ability. I think I would. I'd really. give up a ball. <laughs> take them both, man. I they <laughs> weigh me down need? anyway. Well, you need them for testosterone. Like, I mean, come on. Well, do you need them? I don't know. And, and I'll find. An, I'll find another way. I'll start. <laughs> I'll you do know, whatever. I don't need any of this tea. <laughs> You got too much as it is. Yeah. But it's, it's, I'm glad you had a good experience on Air Singapore because one time we did a tour in Australia. The tour ended up being cool, but like anything that involves a lot of travel, mm. I'm like, it breaks me almost mm -hmm. instantly. And so we made the mistake of letting someone else book our tickets. Like the guy that was booked the tour was like, took forever. And waited to the last minute, got the cheapest ones, and we ch flew on China, uh, China East Air or something. Oh no! Now let me tell you, <laughs> I've never been bullied more than all my life <laughs> on these Chinese airlines. Really? Like they? We were the only white you? people, and there. First of all, there was forty-five babies, no less, screaming babies. I'm not exaggerating. Mm. There was just like this is the baby flight. <laughs> 
<laughs> they put you on baby air. Mm. They do. They put us on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It the, must the have been nursery. Baby this one was coming, going from nursery to nursery. So there's baby screaming, and this is like the, I don't know, probably the third time I've traveled traveled internationally at this point. Uh, maybe more, but basically up until that point, any international flight I had been on had TVs in the back of the seats. Oh, dude. Yeah, of course. So I brought no entertainment. I brought nothing. Mm. And this is in 2000. 13 probably maybe 2014 so i have like not a good iphone at the time and uh, there's like a 3c where it's like watching yeah. a movie is like <laughs> yeah. movies were an option I, the thing was like maybe i don't know six gigs or something i was probably oh, so you had probably like the office take a photo on it. season two episode five on there yeah yeah dude right. i promise you there was not one video on that thing it didn't have the memory <laughs> for that but dude I had nothing to do and I had no idea. And I was like, we were just sitting there for 14 hours. And then we're just like, damn, this is so fucked up. And anytime I would just get, I would get bored and it was hot as fuck on the plane. Oh. And I've never felt so close to be, to being like, yo, mentally I'm going to snap. I think mm-hmm. this is like, this is when it happens. And I would occasionally just try to look through my camera roll on my phone. Just realize like, I have nothing to Dude, do. Dude, that's my classic screen. trick. Absolutely. Clean up the camera. camera roll. Absolutely. Well, check this out. They just kept coming over and yelling at me and said that I had to turn my phone off. And I was like, what? no, it's on airplane mode M- multiple times. And then this went on for 14 hours. And then I, I am a bad habit of not looking at the itinerary. I'm that mm-hmm. guy. I just show up and I'm like, you know, what? I'll be guided by my peers. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Even so though I you're like the the guy, the guy, you're like the main guy in the band. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like you know what? They'll, they're my handlers, basically. Okay. I, listen, I'm here to. Uh, I'm the spice. Hmm. Not to say they're not spicy guys too, but I'm the uh, I'm the ornery one. You can't have you can't give me any responsibility. Basically, I like I'm that you hit the hard R in ornery. <laughs> my wife likes to say ornery. <laughs> And I'll always be like, honey, not at all a word, but, <laughs> but, but you do you. Uh, <laughs> well, I have a West Virginian blood in my veins. So, right, so y'all are ornery over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I come from hill people. We yeah. So a- that was, that was a miserable flight experience. And we flew the yeah. same way back. And, uh, oh yeah. So once we got to China, there was a layover in China and then we flew the rest of the way to Sydney and I'm like, oh, once we fly this 14 hours, what is it going to be three hours to Sydney? Like, let's just get this over with. We got there and it was nine more hours. Dude, we, the same thing where we were flying from Japan, the flight from LA to Japan was like, I think it was Singapore air. So it was the most pleasant there was a two story plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like sexy it. models. Yep. Hot <laughs> male and female as the flight attendants. You know, like the the hottest <laughs> dude I've ever seen bringing me a, a heavy full sugar Dr. Pepper. And the flight back was a direct flight, no stops on a straight up domestic plane. So no TVs, no internet, no outlets. Just. Oh, God. And again, it was hot as fuck. So I probably got the same plan, the same plane as you, Taylor. Same one. It was the worst. That was the worst travel day of I think of of my life, just in terms of sheer, like, oh, there is a- actually nothing I can do. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm ashamed to admit this, but right after um, we got back from this, I texted my very my very close friend Will Yip, who is Chinese, and his parents are oh, from. Oh, we got to talk about Will Yip. I. Uh, I was like, dude, um, I was, people that were on this, like straight up people from China are really mean, huh? And he was like, oh yeah, it's a cultural thing. They're just like, they got no time for, like, dude, we were just getting like sh- shoulder checked dude, by, that's what I was it's, gonna this say. sounds like I'm a bigot, but I swear to God, we just got, the four white guys got bullied on the, on the, uh, I'm, I'm happy to take the hit for, for, uh, on behalf of the rest of the whites, but I would just wish they would have <laughs> taken a little easier on me because I am partially Latino and I just wish they would have. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> they would like asked, you know. We mm-hmm. had a layover in Hong Kong and then got on the on the plane again to go to Bangkok. And walking like through the aisle to get to your seat on the plane and people are like pushing past you. Like Dude. I'm I'm going. I'm yeah. a salmon. I'm in the stream and they're just mm-hmm. like It's crazy. Colin wants us but, yeah, to stop talking about Chinese people. Thing. So Same bad. thing in Thailand when we were when we needed to like 
do our bags and everything at the airport. You just walk to the front. Like there's no line. <laughs> Did you just fight to the front? Well, yeah. it was literally just James just like moving his Jesus. way through pol- less, I, I don't know, smaller people and just <laughs> like <laughs> saying, hey, we need to do this. And that was it. So Taylor, what's the worst show you've ever played in your life? Um, I don't know if I know the worst show off the top of my head, but uh, I've played some stinkers, man. Same. Like at this point, I'm so accustomed to playing shows that are just like not only poorly attended, but the vibe is fucked up. That I like, uh, I kind of get off on it. <laughs> like there's a, there's the obvious like financial aspect. If you're on tour and you play a bad show, it's like, this is no good. Yeah. But then there's like the vibe aspect where everyone's just like, what are we doing here? Mm-hmm. But now it's just financial is the only downside. Every other part I'm like, we're going to have fun with this. Yeah. Yeah. In a way that. Like I used to do this thing when a show was like poorly attended, I would thank each member in the audience one by one. <laughs> and that was a hit every time. People loved that. The, the, I bet you they brought a friend back next time you came to fucking Sioux Falls. He's going to uh, point you out, dude. Just watch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Super Heaven has never done a good tour. So they, t- they weren't bringing, if anything, they were like, uh, they meant to bring their friend and they forgot when we came back because there were just less people. <laughs> there's there's never been a thoroughly good attended Super Heaven tour. Um I I think maybe maybe the first headliner we ever did hmm. was probably uh a little better. Like I guess you could call it a good tour, but it wasn't like we weren't killing it. Hmm. We were never killing it. There is a fine line between like the vibe, the vibe was incredible, but we sold no merch. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. shot vibe sold fifteen hundred bucks. Don't know why. At there this is, point in my life, I'll take that for sure. It it, it yeah, it's because you can have both. Those exist. <laughs> like, but it's harder to have a shot vibe when you're like playing drums or something. Is like, ah, it's fine. I had a good time playing the songs. But a front man shot vibe singing is like. Like, I, I know that Taylor gets off on it, but I have a really hard time. Mm. I, I can't fake it. I like I, I at, at some point I it's, they have to look at me and go, this guy fucking hates this. <laughs> um, Well, do you like playing shows? It's, I'm, I'm I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. You know, what? I'm in the same boat, man. You, not as a singer. I It's yeah, yeah. it's complicated when, when it's with singing. I think. When I'm like three to five songs into the set and it's still pretty good, that's when I'm like, all right, this is awesome. Yeah. But yeah. like if I'm playing songs that like I'm from like the first album that I'm playing only because I think that's what people want to hear and it's like shot or something, I'm fucking miserable. Uh, I, but like talking about it on a podcast is sick. Like I'm, I'm like, this is my favorite part of music is just talking <laughs> so about far. It. Yeah. 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 Honestly, same. Uh, it's sick. Hey, what's the most expensive thing you guys have ever lost on tour? Um, uh, somebody stole my switch straight out of my backpack <laughs> in the green room on the that, last U.S. tour I ever did. Wow! Last show. What is one of those? Last right show. What'd you say, Taylor? I got that same Yeti, brother. Same color. What is uh, dude? This is a clean canteen. Oh, okay. Damn. I don't have Sorry, that. dude. Sorry. <laughs> um, yo, I, yours is metal though. Yeah. I hate these fucking things. You got you got to get the rubber bottom everywhere I, I go, it. dude. Boom. I like. I got a metal one. Does I that like prevent the the bong noise? No, I don't. Dude, everywhere I go, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> that is an especially bongful. And if it falls bottle. off, my, like my nightstand. Uh, oh my god. At night, it sounds like. You gotta get the not, first of all. You gotta not get the off-brand bottle so that you can get the bottom silicone thing on Amazon. Dude, is Clean Canteen off-brand? I've never I, heard of that in my. I've whole heard life. of it. It's definitely not off-brand. Well, look. Okay, if you look on Amazon right now, live Clean Canteen rubber bottom. If it ain't <laughs> on bottom. there, it's off-brand. <laughs> what is it? Bows on the case. Clean Canteen silicone bottom. 
I'll wait. Yeah, we got a couple. <laughs> we got a Hydro Flask, Summit. I'm not seeing anything for Clean Canteen. Pretty bush league, too. All right, right dude, lie. it's knockoff. What do you want me to say? Oh. Yeah. Is it cl <laughs> is it clean with a is it spelled weird? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's a K L E A N. Well. Canteen with a K. Yo, they should have done clan clean canteen company. <laughs> clan canteen. <laughs> That's a whole built-in demographic canteen there. Canteen company. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we got, got some seven bucks. Okay, just for the rubber part. Just for the rubber part, it's a nice pink. That's a ripoff. I'm not buying that. <laughs> How much was the bottle? It doesn't even Seven stock bucks. the bottle. Stop. Uh, I think it was like probably twenty bucks. Oh wow! I've had it for you a while. Could, you know, you stick. You're sticking to it, and I, and I respect that. You ever lose anything, Taylor? Um, his, other pretty, than his mind, I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'm pretty that. good, honestly. Like on tour, I really, for the most part, I'm always pretty shocked about how little people seem to care about their gear during a show. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like people are just like leave their guitar places, and I'm like, bro. I don't even have nice shit. I have any equipment that I own. I could pay for like my amps are probably worth more now than they've ever been. Mm -hmm. And one I could probably sell for 300 bucks and the other I could probably sell for like 600 <laughs> on a really good day. Wow. And my well, guitars let's... are all like actually cheap guitars. So, I, But still, I, I'll watch motherfuckers lay their uh, $2,000 jazz master just around with a bunch of dickheads. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just like not even secure. Proverbial it's just like, dickheads. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like leaning up against something where it's like, that's going to fall for sure. But it's not my responsibility to. It's not. And that's the thing. It. It's not. You're not a lifeguard. That's what they get for buying a fucking jazz master. Yeah. Well, I'm like the king of, I have left my like custom molded earplugs at hotels. Oh, I've left dude. AirPods in, on two different hemispheres in different countries. Once in, Finland and once in Australia. Like each, like each one pod, pod was in a different. No, no, no. Just the whole thing. <laughs> I just forget and yeah. Have you ever toured with you've toured with Martine Stewart, right? From Terror? Me? But either of you. Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't. Dude, once per day, per show, he loses something. Like something like, important? No, like a jacket or like a shirt. To me, a jacket would be like Devastate. Like I bring the, I bring my one jacket that I'm like, yo, this is my jacket this year. You yeah, know, yeah. that's the one I bring on tour. So if I lost a jacket, I'd, I would never recover. But for him, yeah. it's like, ah, did it again. Like every day <laughs> he leaves something in wherever he is. What yeah. I was going to say, though, is all of those things that I said I just lost, I've gotten back due to kind people going to the post office. For that's me. crazy. Whoa. I wouldn't do that at all. If I you're watching this and you stole my switch out of my bag, um, send it back. Return it to me, <laughs> and then face me in fucking combat. Yeah, that's the way it should go in this life. Mm -hmm. it's just I like, caught you stealing. Well, combat, <laughs> or at least you have to let me like give you a couple wraps on the back of your hands. <laughs> yeah, you have to either just take it, or I will give you the opportunity to uh, to fight me. Yeah. Like a swirly, maybe. <laughs> do you have a do, Taylor? Do you have a Mount Rushmore of people you've toured with? No. People you like being. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, because yo, there's always like a, yo, I really only, I don't. I'm not proud of this. There's really only certain people I like and can be mm -hmm. around. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that just don't meet that requirement. And I got no time for them. I, I would love to be the kind of person that's like, I don't, I don't have any ill will against them. I just don't wish to spend a lot of my time with them. And I find that usually this has been changing more every time I go on tour at this point. But usually like the percentage of people I don't like is higher than the people that, that I do like on a tour. I, I feel like that's pretty apparent just from your, your vibe in general. <laughs> yeah. The, you wear that, you know? Mm. Are you the quiet guy in the green room then? Uh, it depends. Like, because I can be super obnoxious and not shut the hell up. Mm. But then there's other times where I just got nothing to say. Mm. And that's the thing that I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to talk to people. And then 
then that's when I feel like a dickhead because I'm just like, listen, I'm not trying to talk to anybody. Mm. <laughs> I get that. You yeah, had, I, you, had, you had an energy drink fella? Um, I used to be. Not, well, no, I've never been like an energy drink person. That I was just like, I would roll up to work with two tall cans of Monster and I was like, yeah, one for now and one for dude, yeah. two yeah. o'clock. The, the, I mean, you say that, but I've done that. So <laughs> I, I worked for a TV show where my shift was 5 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Oh, my God. And I wasn't into coffee yet. I was a fucking See, moron. I, I was going to, I would have assumed that because I, same thing. I would drink Monster Energy like only if I was doing a night drive on tour. Mm. I would not drink energy drinks otherwise. I, I like a, I don't even drink Red Bull. I, so I'm a big, I'm a Red Bull guy. I just uh, like the way it tastes. If there was a non energized version that tasted the same, I would keep it stocked. How have they not done that? I don't like it. I think it's gross. I and I feel I feel that way about just about every other energy drink, like Rockstar Monster. I can't do it, but I love a, like a sugar free Red Bull. Delicious. How do you feel about like Herba Mate? Um, yeah, to me, it's just Snapple. It it is it is kind of Snapple, <laughs> but with like more caffeine than coffee. I I like the carbonation. Oh, to me, that's just ones. like an art. Are there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're in skinny, you're like Red Bull size cans, but they have them. Interesting. They're good. They're very good. I didn't know they had caffeine in them. I was oh, always yeah. like, what? I don't know, man. They they're good, I guess, but I never understood why people like them so much. Yeah, they're Caffeine's they jack you up, sense. right? I think I I think people I think we all kind of can respond to different types of caffeine, like coffee and tea. For me, I go. If I drink a Red Bull, it doesn't do anything. Oh, for me. dude, I could drink a 12 ounce right now and take go to sleep. a full nap. Yeah. So, uh, but there's something about coffee or espresso or an Urban Mate, like whatever that, like the natural, it just gets me. I don't know. I don't know if it's real or if it's in my head or whatever, but it really uh, turns my crank. You know what I mean? <laughs> turns your crank. That's new. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great time. You ever seen a ghost, Taylor, on tour? Um, you know, it's funny. I was listening to your last episode. And nice. um, I, <laughs> I'm with Bo on this, man. I just don't think they exist. There he is. I, I, so the thing is, like, I, overall, I would agree with that. But I've just, I've seen it. Um, but you didn't see it. I did. No, you 100%. felt it. It's a no, different thing. I saw it. I saw her. <laughs> she, her. I saw um, I about, just, I know you fuck with aliens. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm just like I don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, ghosts are scary to me. Like, I watch a ghost. Yeah. Mo- like, ghost paranormal movies are the scariest ones to me for sure. Dude, same. Like, dude, some big guy that's like murdering people is not that scary to me. Because I'm like, I think I'd have a chance. Yeah. yeah, I always think like I, I'm gonna I'm, kick this motherfucker in the chest as hard as he's <laughs> harder than he's ever been kicked, and then the whole vibe of this movie is gonna change. Yeah, <laughs> he'll just be like, oh, "Fuck!" under his mask. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, I used just to have gonna to hear. Think, like, I used to have to be like, "Michael Myers is going after his sister," or whatever the story was. I don't have any siblings. I'm good. Mm. Yeah, as long as I'm not his sister, I'll just like, okay, do what he, it's none of my business. It's the screen <laughs> Go guys on, Michael. Are going after Sydney because of their. I'm good. You know, I used to have yeah. to like. Do that. You rationalize that? My parents oh, so you I, thought, I thought they were coming for you. Or alive in the boiler room. You know, like I, I enjoy I could watch a slap. That's the thing that I could watch recreationally. And again, just fall asleep. Drink a Red Bull, watch a slasher, take a nap. That's a beautiful night in for me. <laughs> what but was paranormal, the, I'm yeah. like it, it's it's weird because to believe in demons, you have to believe in God. And I I it again provably false. So hmm. Like I, I, and I think maybe that's why like a, like a, a classic demon is scary. Cause it's like, oh, you shouldn't exist because there's for sure no God. But when you watch the like paranormal horror movies where like the, the Catholic guy saying stuff saves the day is when I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm so team JC in that moment. Dude. See, you liked the new, uh, we're going to end up talking about movies. You liked the new, uh, uh, the conjuring, right? 
the Wait, third is that one? That movies? What, what's the What's the one that came out? Uh, the The Devil Made Me Do It. No, That's a Conjuring it's, it's movie, horrible. Right? Oh yeah, it's dog shit. I felt like that was the most like a uh, Christian propaganda movie I've ever seen. They They're all kind of are though. Yeah, they definitely are. But that one was just like we had to kill the Satanist. Yeah. Like I think in you know, 20, 2020 or whenever that piece of shit came out. <laughs> I feel like we're all on the same page that Satanism isn't really like what they thought it was. Do you remember oh, a, a movie or a scene that like really fucked you up as a kid? Um, I don't know about as a kid, to be honest, there's things that kind of shake me a little more. It's not that they scare me as much as if I'm in a situation where I'm like in a situation that kind of reminds me of a scene from a movie. I'm just like, Ooh, what if that happened right now? <laughs> like a lot of like, uh, like the movies, not all of them, but a lot of the, a lot of them suck. The paranormal activity, activity yeah. movies. The first one there's was moments. To, there are a couple of them are pretty good, man. Yeah. Dude, that's the thing. I was going to say, there's a couple that are truly have some of the scariest movie moments just because I'm like, that, that would, you're be, like, so that would scary. be pretty scary if that happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think the ghosts are real. So when I think about it, I'm just like, that's okay. I don't believe in all that. Mm. I, uh, magic. What, Come on. What are we talking about? Harry Potter or something? Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid and I was still, I was still a, a, a good little Christian boy. My father, fucking idiot, for whatever reason, let me watch Event Horizon. And, <laughs> and the scenes where they show what hell is and, and listen to what hell is, like, that killed me. I was up for a long time. Mm. And then shortly thereafter, and mother, if you're listening, I love you dearly, but I'll never forgive you for this. We went to see Blair Witch mm. in the theater. Mom told me it was real. Oh, <laughs> she told so. So afterwards, That's it was awesome. like, hey, we got to go to the grocery store. And I'm walking around holding a box of Eggos thinking about, hey, there's a fucking witch in New England. Yeah. Why aren't we doing something? What, what are we doing? Uh, let's go. We got a killer. Mm. And I, I'm no joke. I drove my mom probably crazy for like two days. I didn't sleep. I was like a mess. I was cranky. Did was she up, tell you instantly it wasn't I real was, or was she keeping the bit up? She kept the bit up. She knows. Oh, my God. Time. Oh, so she didn't, she, I was no. kind of like, did she think it late was real? One, late one night I was up with her. She was fed up. She was switching through the channels and put on E! Entertainment Television. Mm -hmm. And was like, okay, look, there's the actors. You're fine. And they were oh. doing an interview. You guys watching like, this <laughs> talk soup or something? <laughs> I was okay. so, dude, the scene where Mike at the end is in the corner, like that haunts me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's. That is a haunting image for me. Ooh. So you, you don't believe in the Blair Witch, Bo? I don't. Fucking loser. Um, it's pretty scary. Exorcist pretty scary. three, the 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 scene. You know what I'm talking uh, about? With the hyenas. Yeah. The hyenas. No, no, no. Which In the hallway. Oh. Exorcist three. The okay. hallway scene. That yeah. For me was like. I saw that when I was like six, and it was just like, well, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I'm haunted. What's the exorcist where the kid gets eaten alive by hyenas? It's like a more recent one. I think that's two. No, no it, it, it was uh, like I was like. Exorcist? Yes. It's part of the franchise? Yes. Maybe it's exorcists. <laughs> the exorcists. Like the exorcism of. No, no. Mr. Hyena. Yo, you guys know what movie really did. You know what part in a movie really scared me as a kid? Exorcist the, the beginning. Oh. Beginning. What the fuck? Never it's heard a prequel to The Exorcist. It's where the statue comes from. It's a bad oh. movie. But there's a scene where this little kid gets eaten and torn to pieces. What alive. year did that come out? That's awesome. I hate kids. Nine. That was straight to fucking VHS, dude. <laughs> I saw it in the theater. Get the fuck out of I here. I swear to God. That's a, swear a, God. a truck stop. 2004. Sorry. 2004. I'm looking at the Wikipedia. It's horrifying. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Uh, that the, there's there's one scene that really rocks. Um, one of the scariest scenes. Did you guys ever see the animated movie Aladdin when he's in the when he's in the prison <laughs> and there's that old <laughs> creepy guy that ends up being J Jafar, Jafar like in yeah. disguise? Yeah. Dude, I thought that I I wouldn't go to the bathroom alone after I saw that part, man. That that reveal just fucked your whole shit up. Um, just the way the I guess I'm just afraid of just like old. Old skinny guys with no teeth. With You're afraid of being with deceived. Rubies in their robes. 
You're afraid of deception. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, you lied, and that's fucking scary. Yeah, I, I think very, I was... Sorry, go ahead. I, I think I was more relieved when I realized it was Jeff Farr, because I just thought the guy was a little scary. <laughs> uh, you're hitting a, you're hitting like a capital A for Jeff the first R. one. Jeff R, and it's <laughs> killing me. Jeff Dude. R, Jeff Rothenstein. <laughs> Listen, I got West Virginia blood on my veins. I know, so. man. I know you do. This camera looks so bad. It's like comical, and there's nothing I can do about it. Actually, no, let me fine. see if this makes it better or worse. Just leave it. Yeah, just don't worry. About I'll it. fix it in post. I'll put I, you in like I'll put you in a I'll put a oh, rainbow. That, on that's yours. worse. That's way worse. That's so <laughs> I was gonna worse. say it makes me look like I'm in prison, dude. This that looks like the Bjork like suicide bomber guy. Like the, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, that's this me. Is fine. I'll, fine. I'll, I'll I'll brighten you. That's up. my dad. Dude, I'll make uh, you black and white. I was a very scared child. I was very afraid. Yeah, I was afraid me too. of storms. I, still am. I was afraid of the dark. What? I was afraid. Did you watch? Of, Are you afraid of the dark? I couldn't. I was was yes. I, no, not, I was an only child, dude. I was just afraid of things. I, I didn't jumping. know that those two things. I guess. I mean, I had no. I had nothing. So when mom is working late, she's working. She's waitressing and serving late. I'm home alone. And it's dark out. I was mm. a latchkey kid. It was. I was afraid. Were you afraid of your latchkey? No. Oh. How I got. That's how I got. Home. I was afraid of losing oh. mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just afraid of where it went. <laughs> uh. I guess we could talk about food now, huh? Yeah. You, Taylor, are I mean, you a uh, vegetarian or anything? Yeah, I don't eat meat, but there's been times that I have, so I can kind of contribute to the conversation, but you're not going to like what I have to say. Yeah, probably not. I've, 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 I've like seen Willie you eat. I'm, I'm normally, uh, I feel like I'm normally, when you and I have gotten food together, I feel like your thing is to like not get the thing at the place. You know? Uh, it depends. It, I'm just a picky eater, so a lot of times the thing I'm just like I don't need all that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a simple right. man, a simpleton, one might say. What's making you pull? What what's what are you pulling over for on the highway? Yeah. You're you're playing in fucking Topeka, Kansas, <laughs> and you're like, all right, food is gonna feel real good right now. Um, I mean. It's circumstantial for sure, because at any point there's, there's rarely a restaurant that I'm like, I gotta go. Like so you're maybe just a not vegan as motivated spot. by it as we are. Yeah. I mean, I, I do like Del Taco. Okay. I it's do like pick. Waffle House. Oh, nice. That's okay. So you are, you're pro Waffle House. Yeah. I just feel like the vibe is like 90% of the time I'm in Waffle House. The vibe is amazing. And the food is. You. Sometimes the food is like, wow, this is my compliments to the chef. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. compliments to you. But <laughs> yeah. other times it's pretty bad. But I just feel like usually it's it's going up in price as everything is. But it's also just usually co- doesn't cost you much. For, do you live near? Do, do they have it there? Uh, No, not really. Same. I think there's one maybe four. Actually, I live in New Jersey now, so I have no idea what the closest You do? One. Yeah, I do. That's news to me, man. Yeah. How's that been? It's it's fine. You got good pizza there. Yeah. Do do you know where? So the, I live in Cherry Hill. We have I don't know where like the good pizza is. I'll find it for you. Yeah, please do. We've I'm been trying pro, to find man. like a good spot. I'll I'll make you a list. I'll find. A, I'm a, I will straight up construct you a a local pizzeria. Yeah, tool. I would. <laughs> What's your Waffle House order? Um. Well, typically, you know, shitted, I mean, I, fucked, and cocked. Yeah. <laughs> Hash browns. I am getting a waffle pretty much every single time. You have to. Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm always baffled when I'm with people and they don't get the waffle. Yeah. And then sometimes I'll get like a... You don't? It depends. Sometimes I'll get like a... Oh, okay. Just a couple eggs Mm. and maybe some toast, but sometimes I'll get a little uh, egg and cheese sandwich. Ooh. Never done that. Never done that either. I'm a special guy. Get it, get, send it all my way. Hmm. I, I honestly, you know, you know what has been my vibe the past like three or four years at any diner? The steak and eggs. Dude. Okay. Yeah, I can great. respect that. Give me the steak and eggs. I don't care how what kind of bullshit you're serving me. Yeah. I, I want the shittiest steak I've ever eaten, and I want to pay twenty one ninety nine for it. <laughs> you know. I throw a little Worcestershire on there. Love. That. I don't even need it. I want it worse. I want it the. <laughs> I want. I want Dude, to not taste good. As far as breakfast goes, you know what might be my favorite? It might be my favorite food ever. Mm. Cinnamon roll? 
No, I'm not really into cinnamon. I don't mm. really like cinnamon. Spice as a snack? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm a French toast guy. Oh. Mm. I adore a French toast. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I made it a little too frequently during, co- during quarantine era. Dude, straight up like twice a day for like three months, I was eating French toast. How many pieces of bread each time? Three, probably. Okay, that's reasonable. But I was it's using like a, I was using number? like a. You because well, then you get six slices, brother. You got to cut in half. All right. Okay. Fair. Come on now. All right, I'm with you. Uh, I, I was using style like a or a triangle style. Triangle style. Yeah, yeah. You know Come on. Yeah. For French toast, if I, it's not triangular, it's bullshit. Why are you I'm not being eating that? So defensive. <laughs> that's what makes it French. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> I don't need it to be triangles, personally. What? You just go, you don't even cut? I mean, first of all, if my mom doesn't cut it up for me, <laughs> then it's not French toast. Okay. It's just like toast with some powdered sugar and some syrup on it. I'm not a huge IHOP guy, but IHOP used to have cheesecake stuff, French toast. Dude. Oh, yeah. And you could, you'd only get crazy. It, it came with one. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was so rich. You were in a diabetic coma afterwards anyway. Oh, man. Yo, I'm kind of, I kind of ride for IHOP. I haven't been there in years, but. It's been, yeah, it's been a while. I've, I mean, I never, I don't like pancakes, so I don't get pancakes when I go, when I go there. I think pancakes are just like absolute the most, listen, as a, as a lifelong peasant, I can't be caught dead eating pancakes. Yeah. I'll eat a that's, pancake. That's, uh, pancake, that's homeless man food. That's a homeless man's food. <laughs> That's why that exists, so that homeless men can just whip up some flour in in water, and they're like, pancakes coming right up. But like a big Belgian waffle? mm, Delicious. That's different, though. It's prepared different, so it kind of tastes different. But, you know, of the three. I'll make a pancake. I'm not going to order a pancake. That's that's like... Exactly. Like, I I, I can't even justify that. As a a person (laughs) I'm with being like, give me a stack of bullshit. Yeah. (laughs) But, like... And then they do it wrong. So if you guys were, if you had to eat pancakes and you're applying syrup, do you lift up each pancake or do you go straight on top? I lift up, I lift it up for butter, syrup. Yeah. And then I like to get, I like blueberry pancakes and I like to make sure Not that me. if I got any fresh blueberries, I like them to be, you know, around, no. around town. <laughs> Won't do it. No fruit? No or just not no, blueberries? Dude. No strawberries? Hell no. I love a strawberry. Good for you. I like I I don't mind a little fruit on my mm-hmm. on top of my French toast, but if I'm saying if I'm going traditional, my traditional French toast is simply French toast. There's no no there's syrup. No, there's no accoutrement in there. You're no, using I, syrup. Oh, syrup. Yeah, I just eat dry. Okay. Yeah, I eat it dry. Yeah, dude. Just dry. <laughs> dry just egg, egg. That's just yeah. egg bread. Just slide it down like a python. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> After my mom cuts it up for me. <laughs> You, uh, okay, so, um, pilot flying J loves TA. What's TA? You got a preference, Taylor? I know we do, Bo. Yes, we do. Um, to be honest, when I see, I mean, I feel like, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I feel like TA is not always a sure fire sign of a, a good stop. TA is TA's bottom of the barrel for sure. For, some TAs are like great and some are just yeah. like this little hallway that sucks. Yeah, but I feel like if it's a flying J or a loves, I don't know that I have a preference between the two, but I can usually rely on, sometimes it's not the case, being able to take a dump in a bathroom that's not like, dark and scary the flying j got or loves has the bathroom doors that go all the way all the way down and they lock all the way shut (sighs) loves is for the people for the shitters loves is for the for the working man for the dumping man of america dude not only the dumping man that straw that like cherry scented rough soap for grease Oh yeah, for the in truckers every after the bathroom, <laughs> and it feels so good on your road worn hands, you know. Yeah, what I mean? after you change your lug nuts on your eighteen wheeler, yeah. I will say that those bathrooms are kind of a funny place because I've heard, I've seen <laughs> many times, guys that are just like not in stalls, and they're either in there taking a piss or washing their hands or whatever, 
and they're talking to a guy taking like a obnoxious go, oh! sounding shit. Yeah, they're just like talking and they're always just like <laughs> like one of those. <laughs> yes. And they're they're having like a rough time and there there's always a guy on the outside who seemingly is a stranger and he's like kind of talking him through it. And I've seen this happen like many times in these truck stops where there's like a the ones where they have like 80 stalls. Yeah. Not yeah. literally. Oh, 80. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have but those ones, seen, there's always someone uh, shitting and a guy talking to him on the other side of the stall. Have you ever seen, in, been in like the parking lot of a Flying J or a pilot or something and seen uh, the ladies of the night prowl in the parking lot? I Almost. never once have. You know what they call them? Lot lizards? Lot lizards. Dude. Yeah, dude. I have never that's seen me. one. What a term. Crazy term. Yeah. Dude, that's, Kyle, um, we, we should have like a stranger trucker on the show. You really That's should. a torn ass motherfucker. That's man. a that he's seen the road. You know what I mean? He's got hemorrhoids like many of them at one time. Well, he wouldn't be the only one on the show. <laughs> many though, I I definitely I might I mean I might have a hemorrhoid right now, dude. It's not <laughs> it's anybody's guess, but I don't I'm, think I have. I'm like, like many. three wipes away from bloodshed, <laughs> three hundred and sixty four days a year. Hey, that's yeah, something I mean, we could talk about. Something that I got into within the last hemorrhoids? couple of years. No, well, just I'm really just, into uh, hemorrhoids right now. <laughs> if you buy, like, he- okay, if you buy hemorrhoidal like wipes, like uh-huh. flushable wipes, it's really just aloe vera and like, like w- whatever kind of vitamin, vitamin E or whatever that's good for your skin. It, there's no mm-hmm. like prescription anything in it, and it makes for a very pleasant day if you have those with you on tour. It's crazy that. I've had hemorrhoids for like 15 years and I've like never medicated it once. And what I'm learning as like a 30 year old guy with a wife who's like smart and like treats the first, like if she's like, I'm tired, she has like a, a thing that helps with that. I guess I got to get into uh get some of these wipes I'm telling you. Okay. You can get them from any, you know, Walgreens and they're flushable. <laughs> I'll edit in a review to the end of this episode. Cause I'm, I'm going out when as soon as we're done recording. I'm telling you. <laughs> Link in bio. Yeah, but I, anyway, I definitely if loves. If loves is watching, I love you. We loves you. Yeah, that loves is, loves is, is always a sure. Like anytime you see that glowing in the night, you're like, oh, let's go, boys. So I, I, a have a, of I have a mug reprieve. that gets you free pop out of the fountain every time. Ring a ding ding. What? It's not free. It's like sixty cents or something for a refill. You buy their twenty dollar Love's mug. Is it big? It's it's twenty eight ounces or something, thirty two ounces. I mean, that's <laughs> I don't know if that's big enough for me for my needs. Thirty two ounces is definitely big gulp size. Yeah, that's huge. that's but that's like medium big gulp. There's multiple big gulp sizes. You know that? Yeah, but is that medium big gulp? <laughs> I I go for the sixty four ounce for sure. You, you like you to get the one where the base has to be almost as wide as the top, just for like sheer like. You get the chode. <laughs> I need an attachment to put it in a cup holder. Oh my god! That's what I'm working with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's far out, brother. <laughs> yeah. I don't like a big gulp. I like a huge gulp. <laughs> but aren't you I like a big a, slurp? Stop what? it! I have a pisser anyway. Absolutely. So you could just refill again. No. Won't do it. I'll buy another one. I want to support my the franchise. You know? Yeah, I can't be the broke motherfucker showing up. My I brought my own mug. Yeah, I brought, dude. <laughs> I brought my own loves fucking big gulp. I'm pr- I wear that on my sleeve. I'm Hell proud. no, dude. Get proud. that off my sleeve. Do you rinse it out between uses, or is it just like have like <laughs> hair and no, no straw I do wrappers rinse it out. I rinse and stuff it out with the it? water? Do you okay, well, do you good. let your friends borrow it when you're not touring? Never. Okay. It's still, it's in the van. It lives in the van. Uh, well, that it's, uh, it is, it is growing. It's a, uh, it is like, yeah, it's definitely sentient. Needs, it needs, rep- <laughs> it's annihilation in the van. It has, yeah. it has thoughts and feelings now. <laughs> How do you guys feel about, um, I was going to say loading a trailer, but that sucks dick every time. Yo, I'm honestly, just about- I'm pretty good at it. I kind of like that part. I could see that. It's typically me and James. James is 
James is very focused on making sure the load distribution is correct. You know, you have to be. You have got to be. So, That's how you pop a trailer tire, brother. Actually, I can't even say that. It's it's always James, and then it's typically a couple other people. It just depends on. Well, he gets a little mini pump in when he's when he's a putting bit, yeah. base heads up. You know, one of my favorite <laughs> things ever was James was complaining about moving something, and Nick said, "You literally recreationally lift heavy things for fun." Mm -hmm. Well, it's not for fun. It's to look dope. It's the least fun thing in the world. You don't think I do it every day and I you don't think it's fun? hate it. There's nothing I like less. Well, as someone that lifts every day, I can tell you <laughs> that like I I have a it is my hobby. It is my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've never exercised. Actually, that's not true, but I've exercised like a handful of times in my life. How do you you you're I feel like you have in I'm, as somebody whose weight fluctuates wildly. You're pretty prone to that as well. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Because Is that yo, all diet? Because I don't eat, I don't eat well at all. And I don't, mm. uh, I'm too lazy to exercise. Mm. Yeah. What are you doing most of the day now? Um, usually Just vibing, working. I work from home. Uh, I vibe. Uh, <laughs> how long have you uh, been vibing? Uh, I mean, 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, you know, have I, a, a least favorite venue in the States. Uh, least favorite venue. Um, see, the bad part about it, this is I don't have a good memory. So I, anytime there's least favorite venue. I I'm have trying two. to think of a, I'm trying to think of one that I pull up to. And I'm just like, I have two in the same this piece of shit fucking again. city. Oh, what do you got? Long Island. What Amityville Music Hall? That's one. You hate it? I, I I don't hate it because of obviously I love our friends from Long Island. I uh -huh. love the people. It's got nothing to do with that. I just the stage is small. The load in sucks. There's no back room. There's really. Let me tell you room. why I love Amityville Music Hall. Across the street, there's a sign that says, "Welcome to Amityville welcomes you." <laughs> And that just chaps my ass every time. <laughs> the other um, one is Revolution, whatever. Also in Long Island, Revolution I Bar. There, yeah, you played it's Revolution Bar. Too? It's got all the same complaints I just had. Every mm -hmm. aspect of it, and they just uh, both happen to be on a place with terrible traffic. Mm, yeah, Long Island is not like one of my favorite places to drive to or from. But I do actually like playing Amityville Music Hall, mostly because if oh, I like, love it. if 16 motherfuckers show up, you're like, all right, this show's not that bad. True. I mean, you're right. It's true. Ugh. And it's general. I mean, I feel like I, it's never been super poorly attended when I played there, which is nice. But, I just, you know. I move. I can't, I can't play a stage. You don't, you're not moving anymore, brother, right? You I'm, swore it off. I'll be, I'll me. be moving, but I'm not jumping. You're not jumping. Jumping. Jumping's out. Okay. Well, you did it too, too much. Way too much. You're showing off for the most part. I'm, hey, a lot of time. I was I was doing that when there were ten people there. I'm not. Sure I know, but off. I'm just saying. I'm just in terms like it'd be like, bro, I'm tired, and you're doing that, and you're playing. So, yeah, the knees. What what? Where do you get off? Basically, <laughs> what's your problem? What gives you the right? Are you you are you a big spender, Taylor? Um, depends what you mean by that. Here's I mean, what I'm yes, talking about. Yes, I am a big spender, but I'm not like a, I don't have a lot of money. Fuck yeah. That's, I'm not a big saver, put it that way. I, oh, I kind of feel, hey, I feel the same. I like that. I'm not a big saver. <laughs> I, I would say I'm a little bit of both. Here's what it is. This is what, this is what got me thinking about this today. How many people do you know that are just like always going on vacation? Um, too fucking many. Cause I, too many. <laughs> How do they do it? Like there's always a trip on the horizon. There's, there's always, always a yeah. thing. And I'm just thinking like, okay, I could do that, but then I wouldn't be able to buy like a dope thing like once a month, you know, yeah. which yeah. I love doing. Maybe that's what it is. They're just like, I don't know. I buy a, like a hoodie from time to time. Yeah. But I, you know, yeah. I save up for my vacations, but yeah, I'm like, you know what? I, there's flying involved. I don't, I don't think that's a, that's something I do when I have to do it. Right. And that's what makes me feel bad for like our, our, our partners, you know, they don't, they don't understand 
Is is like is Joey your 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 amazing wonderful wife? Is she is she hurting to travel? Um. Well, I've been more places than her, so I'm sure she would like to experience some of those places. But I mean, I'm always just complaining about everywhere I go. Just like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, I fucking yeah. going there. Same. Dude, driving's um, the same thing too. People like, like my my ex wanted to go on like road trips and stuff. Road trip, dude. You have to understand. Get the fuck like, out we of took here. a trip where we drove to Denver and we camped and hiked in Colorado for two weeks, and it's like, hey, the, I know the drive from Denver to Chicago. It's it's not like some. It's like you're not going to enjoy it. It's not a there's, fun there's, thing to there's do. There's nothing there. <laughs> Nebraska is a terrible place. Like, there's nothing. You know? Yeah, I think you got to be a pretty outgoing person to have a road trip be fun. Yeah. And I'm not. I just, I'm just like, like, like the idea of being in a car is like, holy fuck! I get to. This is sick. I get to be in a car for a long time. Get to sit up. I like. I can't even imagine that being like a like a fun thing to do. Mm. I I don't. I I'm never. I'm never sleeping outside ever in my life. I won't do it. One thing I like about you, Colin, is that when you decide you're going to do something. You do it. It's true. <laughs> like for those, for anyone who doesn't know, Colin went from a MacBook and like a focus right to this lovely studio setup you see before you much better than mine. And I've been trying to do this kind of thing for years. I, I couldn't have done it without you to be well, fair. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is you got into something and you were like, all right, I'm, I'm getting the best of within reason. That's true. And, you know, and what I you don't like know that. is the amount of uh, movie ideas and and scripts I've started in the past <laughs> fifteen years or so. So look at look out for those. I got an idea for this Christmas movie, man. Yeah. That I can't say on the show because it's too good. We had a really good TV show idea that I really think there's something there. We did. Yeah, we did. You and me. I'll, I'll remind you. Yeah, remind me. It's our IP. But man, I'm not putting my notes. my Christmas movie. Wish I could talk about it, but do you, do you have a, a star like in mind? Do you have like yeah, 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 yeah? I do. Who, you Harrison, you just give us the leading role, Harrison Ford. Uh, I don't want to see it. No, you do, dude. <laughs> Trust me, you do. Trust me, I'll tell you about it. It's the okay. best Christmas movie never made. Okay, all right. Maybe that's what you can call it. Yep. I no, I have the title already. Don't worry. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah. So okay. yeah. So t- you know, if you could show some respect. Um, you ever been injured on a tour? Um, I don't think I have. That's all the time we have, folks. Thank you guys so much. For- <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I know. I'm not. I know. I'm not really giving you much on these because I either don't remember things or I'm just like. Uh, I don't think I've ever been injured. I've definitely been like debilitatingly sick on tour before but i feel like most people have at one point or another yeah it's a singer thing for sure oh dude it's a singer thing for sure because if you're sharing mics that's probably the biggest tip we can give to anyone out there just buy your own fucking mic get a road mic but buy your own fucking microphone that's right and get a what is it called the n1 m m m1 the m1 the road m1 get a road m1 Get one of these bad boys right here. Not not sponsored. Not sponsored, not paid for. These things are great. <laughs> they work. Um, but don't don't share microphones. It's repulsive. Yeah. Don't do that. It's pretty gross. I mean, this thing, like, it has changed me. I, I don't know. I mean, we're probably going to get demonetized now, but whatever. Uh, just for saying the word. But, like, singing is spitting, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you, like, you're going to just... It, like evacuate a disgusting substance at some point. And then another guy comes up and just goes, all right, time to do the same thing. And like, I've, I've been singing and like accidentally inhaled and sucked in fluids. I just, I just dry heaved a little bit. I just like, I, I've, Oh, I projectile vomited when I did that. I mean, even thinking Colin, there were times like on that European tour where you would give the mic out to me yeah, and like, and to do that, you have to go like, and like the mic and your fingers are wet from sweat. And you're just bleh, like thinking about that now in a post pandemic world is really crazy. Oh, we're still out. They're still out there doing it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ugh. I, I, I sang a couple uh pain of truth parts recently. Yeah. And 
I'm sure, I'm sure I look like the biggest fucking pussy on planet Earth. But like before I do the part, I lo- I'm like on stage, like taking their mic off and putting my mic on and then unraveling it from the mic stand and then and then hitting it. They would be grateful for it, it too, you know, and they should be. Listen, Scott. It's Vogel, for me. It's, it's for me. A hundred percent. Scott Vogel. Yeah. One of the most beloved hardcore singer vocalist of all time shares the mic constantly. Literally all the time is given the mic out, uses his own mic. He will take the the screen off to let it breathe a little bit after every set, and you disinfect it, and you put it in a bag. And then every night, you just repeat, and he doesn't get sick. He does not get sick. There's a method. His See, back hurts, though. His back hurts, and that's the, injury, something to that. that's the only injury. That's the only injury I've ever had was I threw my back out jumping around. Ooh. Like, where you're just like, oh, like any movement is the worst. I've done yeah. that while playing, and that really sucked. How many times have you shit yourself on tour? Um, no more than a handful. I have a uh, not that I don't want to say that's a famous story, but I've told it many times about how when I ship I shit myself on the plane, and that was the worst one for sure because that was fully like where can you go? Mm. Where can you go? It was on a flight to Australia, also. Oh my oh. god! And it sh- like it like raced down my legs, like got into my <laughs> shoes and everything. So it wasn't like. There was no, there's nothing I could do. Socks. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> yeah, in like one second, I swear to God. <laughs> like straight up, race down my leg. I, I, you would not believe how many times I've done that. Not on a plane, but like where it's like, ooh, my whole pant is poop. I um, I'm I haven't done that. Trying that to make much. you guys feel bad, but I cannot think of a time in my adult life where that has ever happened. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Buzz off. Fly. I feel this, very, is between, I, this is between real shitters. I got a real, I got a visual um, sphincter, I guess. I mean, every Did time you, I talk about how much I shit myself, which really isn't that much, um, because I think a lot of, Bo, I'm not accusing, I'm not, I'm not directing this at you, but I do think there's a lot of people that shit themselves frequently and they just deny, deny, deny. Oh, no. And that's, you know, me and Colin are just, Truthers. We're honest guys. We're truthers. I'm telling you, you ever eaten a dinosaur barbecue in upstate New York? <laughs> no, no, I have not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm not exaggerating a little bit. I've never left dinosaur barbecue with my underwear. <laughs> I've never once finished a meal and not prematurely shit myself there. Like in the restaurant? Inside. on Like it's like, oh. Mid meal, like oh, there it is. What the fuck are you talking about? Something and about just, it, man. You just just go, it just it? like goes in, through me in a way that I can't control. One time, Sabo was driving the the Harm's Way van. He shit himself while driving. <laughs> we stopped at a Loves. Whoa! <laughs> we stopped at a Loves, and he texted me. He's like, "Dude, do you have a knife?" And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Look to kill himself." He was like, "Look." <laughs> I can't take my pants and boots off because his pants were tucked into his boots because this was black metal Sapa. Oh my God. He couldn't take it off. So I had to go and give him a knife so he could cut himself out of his underwear and kind of wipe up and toss him. Why couldn't like the boots are just too hard to he take did, off? He didn't or? want to like, like move around while taking. Is he wearing a bodysuit? <laughs> he was wearing a romper. <laughs> and he didn't want to like. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like shitting yourself is a good way to end the episode, huh? I can't. I, you've. I, I. I'm speechless. We're talking the, less than less than a handful of times. I'm. I'm a soldier of the irritable bowel, man. Yeah. Yeah. I guess same. if you got a thing, I can't really. What can I'm I say? I'm in the infantry for sure. You are welcome. First, first. Uh, you're like a general, but I'm like a. I'm a. I'm the fucking a major? admiral. I'm yeah, the president. <laughs> the president. You of really that. set the bar too high with that rank, didn't you? I did. I did. <laughs> I'm the president of shitting. I mean, to be clear, for all you uh, non pants shitters out there, <laughs> it's it's not like it's just like, oh, I accidentally just shit my pants. No, I couldn't do anything. I just didn't know that I was doing it. It's like it's always starts out as a shark. Yeah. But you're like it's an untrustworthy incident. Yes. That and sometimes from the start, way. you're like, this is you know, 
this is rocky ground for sure, but you, you want take me the to risk. kill myself, bro? Is that what you but mean? But there's sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I'm realizing my privilege, put it that way. Yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. I'm realizing. Yeah. I'm very lucky, very fortunate. Good. I love my sphincter. Mine's all fucked up. I hate mine. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Mine's all it's fucked a mess up. down there. Personally, know. not a fan of my sphincter. <laughs> yeah. The sphincter in general, I could just do without, I feel like. Ooh. Sphincter removal. You basically are doing without googling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess let, let's let me leave it off with a question, Taylor. What is your stance? And I want to be careful here because the like the term Punisher, I feel like is is used to just you is you it's used dangerously because a lot of times it just means like a really big fan. There's nothing which, wrong with someone coming up to anyone. I say no more. That. Say I no more. I, I'm happy to take it from here, boys. Okay. <laughs> um, some people don't like the term Punisher because they feel like, oh, why, w- why would it be punishment for somebody that likes your band and admires you to come up and express that? Um, there's there's no, a line. There's no issue with that. I know right. as someone that does not like talking to strangers, even people that are complimenting me, um, and I'm trying not trying to discourage anybody. I just don't. It's not my favorite thing to do. At, as someone that really doesn't like it, I don't mind when people come up and tell me they like my band. Nobody has a problem with that. When they start, a dude, a dude asked me about uh, Adrenochrome recently, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Like he was like, is ours is Chrome? Like what's that about? I thought I was talking to my bandmate. He admitted right before he went on this that he was autistic, so like he gets a pass. But okay. he was fully on some shit where I was like, bro, I gotta go pack up my gear. Dude, I actually had to, and he was not I, I letting me go. I haven't toured in the world and in this world where people are like actively admitting how fucking stupid they are like, about these things. The Q world. Yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exposed to it. Yeah, and I was just sort of like. I don't know. That's not what it means, man. I don't know what. Even after I told him that, he's like, well, something's going on. And I was like, (laughs) yeah, man. I mean, anything's possible. But (laughs) it's stuff like that where it's like, yo, you expressed your uh, admiration and stuff. And, um, but I got a schedule to keep, baby. You know, you kind (laughs) of. I think my guitar is in my hand and I'm just trying to put it in the case. Like, that's when I'm like, brother. I'm I'm in the middle of something. I know? think the 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 cue for people who maybe aren't good with social cues is like to thank you so much. Mm. Like if I hit you with like oh man thank you so much twice at the end of what well, yeah sentences I, like that's there there it is I gotta go. I'm well sorry. said, man. I just, like I don't know I don't know what to say a lot of the time. Yeah, but I like a I like a guy who comes up and like like as as a podcast guy Taylor. When somebody asks about a bit on the podcast, I'm like, you're a real motherfucker. Let's go. Like you are, you're what, you're who I want to talk. When they, when they pick out a specific little nuanced thing that we've talked about in the middle of one random episode Mm. and somebody's like, I want to talk to you about this. Mm. They, they can have all the time they want. (laughs) Um, I would rather, I would definitely rather talk to that person than the person that compliments my music. Now I have nothing wrong with that. I don't mind if people do that, but if the problem is the nature of our podcast, they, we have, I have been approached by people at shows that are sort of like, I don't think they fully get that we're kidding Mm -hmm. and they go off on some Mm -hmm. shit where I'm just like, brother, I think we're on, I think we're on different pages here. (laughs) I think we heard two different podcasts. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, yeah. we can get, we can get, I can get these, uh, these young people wound up sometimes. Yeah. Cause what are you, what are you saying on there now? What Have are you, you them up it? about? Have you the listened Adrena to it? <laughs> Have you listened to it? I haven't listened to it in general. Yeah. But I haven't listened to the past few. What are you winding up? I just, I, I loved the Britty episode. Oh, that was, that was awesome. Yeah. It really did us. It really did us a favor too, because people can't say we hate women if we have women on the podcast. You feel me? Uh, of course. Someone called us diet racist recently. Recently, and I was diet like, racist. Yeah. Racist zero. I was like, oh, it's crazy that you think there's different lev- levels. You know, I just think all racism is the same. I don't even see color. 
I'm collar. I voted for Obama both times, man. I would have voted for him a third time. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the be- that's one of the like the best <clears throat> hitting jokes in any movie, in my opinion. And I don't really like that movie that much. In uh, what's that movie called? Get Out. Get Out. Yeah. Yeah. It that fucking good. that part that, got my ass. What's funny about that is after Get Out, uh, the like like I loved Get Out became. The like <laughs> yeah, the social right. version, the new like I would have voted for. Obama I have a, with I have a black friend. Yeah. yeah, like oh no, man, I love Get Out. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm I'm not one of them, man. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> has been our episode with the great Taylor Madison. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Taylor. Thank you, yeah, Bruce. It's so a much. pleasure. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.